We collect and connect information from various data sources. On the dashboard, you can get a quick summary in a broad range of widgets. You can quickly discover that you have failing test runs in your test suite. Apart from aggregating the data and helping you to analyze them, we can help you to troubleshoot and fix the issues. In the pipeline module, you can get the status of your pipeline. Here we can see that the pipeline failed. It consists of many different jobs and runs all the different types of tests, unit test, system test, integration test, and end-to-end -end UI test. To easily analyze all the failures, I can click this button. In this report, I can see summary of all the test failures which happened in this pipeline execution. In comparison to the previous run, I can see that there are two newly failing test runs. Here is the summary of the test failures by test type. Here I can see a newly failing test. It's a functional test running in Firefox. Here I can review what was the problem, what was the error message, what was the exception and what is the stack trace. I can further drill down to the details of the test. I can see what was the environment where the test was running. I can see details about the failure. If the stack trace was too long, I can open error details in a new window. Here I can comfortably analyze this even though stack trace would be several pages long. I can very easily drill down to the source report which was generated in my Jenkins server. And I can review history. Here I can see that the same failure happened three runs ago. So here we had a, the same problem. Then there were two successful runs of the test and the latest run failed again. The error message is not very informative and it looks like the test is failing time to time. I can share uh, my findings with the system so that I can recall it later on and also others will find this information. I will also tag the test. Let's go to the test detail and add a tag. By simply tagging the test I have added it to the category of all the tests which requires improvement. This information can be useful in many different cases. For example, we can consider it when we plan the next sprint.